I'm trying to complete every raid in the new RuneScape. Tombs of a Musket is done, but it's pretty fun. Just one more raid before bed. Another solo completion. I do have to be pretty on it with my supplier management, playing well and everything, which is pretty challenging and pretty fun. But now it's time to get a purple. No, there's a key in the chest. What are we going to get? Please give me a jewel or some good loot. Man, that's all right. Dragon stones would be amazing though, because that would be like a three mil drop for me. Jagex just released the Tombs of a Mascot drop rate blog. Now you've got to be a bit of a math magician to work your way through all these numbers and get your result. But luckily for us, the wiki has a calculator. For example, if I do 150 solos with Walk the Path on, I have a one in 50 chance of receiving a purple. But these raids nearly take me an hour to complete, so I think there's a better purple chance elsewhere. At the Chambers of Zeric. To complete raids one at the Chambers of Zeric, I'm going to need to train some herb lore. As you probably know, you do have to make your own potions within this raid and it helps out a lot. 65, I think, is gonna be my aim for the medium brutu potions. I don't think I can get strong overloads. There is just one very small problem in this fresh economy. Herbs cost an absolute fortune. Look at that. 14k Avanto, 18k Renars, 14k Quams, and 9k Irits. How am I going to train herb lore in this economy, bro? 63 farming is part of the solution. I'm one of the best farmers in this game just because I've kept up with all my tree runs. So why don't I just farm my herbs and make some bank? So if I'm going to be farming herbs, I need access to all the good farming patches in the game. And that requires a little bit of preparation here. I am so glad I'm not an Iron Man right now, so I can just buy this saltpeter straight off the GE. No slaving digging for me. Wait, have I gone insane? There's so many things on these interfaces nowadays. Where do I see my Zaya favor? Just these achievement points, which mean nothing. 800 buckets of sulfurous fertilizer. Donated to the Hisidious farming patches. Is that enough? How do I even tell? Okay, nice. Max Hasidius favor. Now I can get into the farming guild and use the Hasidius patch. That's going to be really useful for herb runs. Mate, I'm actually getting Zaya favor in Fresh Start Worlds. This is how you know I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> More runecrafting XP without even training runecrafting. That's what I like to see. There we go. All the Arceus favor is completed. A quick one. I'm going to use the rest of these books on Mage, I think. But that's really important because now I can use the Arceus spellbook and teleport close to some herb patches. A little bit of DIY on a Friday morning. Let's make ourselves a portal chamber for 100k. What a bargain. Thinking Strain Portal takes me to the Mauritania patch. Drain a Mana Portal takes me to the Falador patch. And the Battlefront Portal takes me to the Farming Guild. I can boost up and do medium contracts for my seeds. I don't even have to buy them. The farming productions are about to make money. What's for dinner and where did all my time go are two questions that I ask myself every day. Today's video partner Factor solves these problems. Factor's chef created meals are fresh, never frozen and designed by dietitians to ensure that every meal is packed with premium science backed nutritional quality. No more meal prep, no more dishes, no more unhealthy fast food. Factor offers the most convenient way to eat well while eating right. My favorite thing about Factor is that it's super easy to use the there's a wide variety of meals to choose from and the menu is updated weekly. Factor also helps you with your fitness and lifestyle goals with healthy food and clear information to keep you on top of your diet. It's great, there are calorie smart options, keto, vegan, vegetarian, it's all there. It's perfect for gamers like you, me. Does this guy look like he's got a lot of free time? Absolutely not. Convenience is king and it's good to stay healthy while you do so. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use the code pogsolomnov60 for 60% off your first box. What is this guy doing? Oh, I haven't done a Halloween event in ages, but that is very good. All that prep for farm runs, and I didn't even realize that I don't have the RD Tally unlocked, so I'm running from Camelot for this first one. Only 10 people in the game can farm Snapdragons right now, and I'm one of those people, which means they are selling for so much money. I'll sell them and buy more economical herbs. First run, five patches. How many are we saying? 45 Snapdragons. I know that is huge profit. These are slow selling for 25 each in the G, so I'm gonna be waiting there for my mill profit in two minutes. Even stuff like Limpwet Roots are 3k each, so I think I might start farming these as well. How have I managed to play for eight days without teleporting to RD? <laughs> but that's Plague City finally done. King Lathus, you know the plague? Yeah, Plandemic, brother. That is Biohazard completed. I'm doing this quest line for an important 
raids upgrade. You will see. Underground pass, it's time. Underground pass. Regicide for the 50th time. I've done that quest too much. You won't be expecting this. The dragon halberd is the upgrade I need. I just need a hard hitting melee weapon. And I couldn't buy a good one. And the d Halley is actually a really nice option. It's got a spec and also high strength bonus, slow weapon. Good for Chambers of Zarek. I've got a delivery from myself. I've been doing the numbers and these are the best herbs on the GE. The only reasonable option right now. Selling super strengths on the GE for 14k each. I'm buying the qualms for 8.6k, but it's still a loss because of the limp work roots. It's just a perfect day. Money for breakfast. And 61 Herb Law, the most expensive skill in this world. Now I can plus four boost and do 65 potions. I just need this Tome of Fire to buy and I am raids ready. Also, if you've been eagle-eyed, I've been buying sweets from the start of this mode for like 200 each. I just got a message. The investment, what is it gonna be? The Tome of Fire, 3.3 mil, that is pricey. The mission to the chambers of Zeric. Honestly looking forward to it. Tenet points, don't one bang me. I'm coming on my scouter as well. We survived. I'm using two accounts to scout the ideal rotation. You get different demi bosses each time you enter a raid, and I only want certain ones that will give me the right potions and not be too difficult for me. Yes, yes, this is the raid. Mutadows and Vanguards both drop overload pluses, which require 90 herb law. So I need to get those on the floor. They will really help my DPS out. This is the gear. Look at me go. I am an absolute baller. Here we go. My stats are still in the 70s. So this is definitely going to be a challenge. Challenge, challenge, challenge mode. So this is the reason I've been training my farming. It's to farm your subscriptions. In raids, potions are tiered. Because my herb lore is so low, I can only make overload minuses. And that's why I wanted certain bosses in the raid. However, when making bruise and restores, I can botanical pie up and make Xerix aids. They're normal Xerix aids. They're not plus. They're not minus. They're in the middle. So it's better than nothing. Thing. All right, what does an overload minus give me? Plus 11 to my stats. I should have just put normal potions in, bro. Only certain monsters drop the overload plus, and Mutadiles are one of those bosses, which is why I'm here getting smoked. And you're dead, mate. And there is the first overload plus. That's plus 20s rather than like plus 11, so it's so much better. And Big Croc's dead, and we can get the other ones. And Xerix Aid plus, and Revitalization plus. Oh my god, and Prayer Enhance plus. That's so good. Next up, Vanguards also have potential to drop these plus potions. So that's why they're in this raid. It's going to be a very long raid. I need a lot of good potions. The first Dragon Halley spec in the history of raids. No overload off the first Vanguard, but we get some normal potions. That's still decent. Second one down. Come on. Hey, there's an extra overload. Nice. The setup of the century. Six stamina sweets, three overloads, three prayer enhances. I do not know how long this is going to take. Let's drop those to save some energy. Throw back to Trailblazer League. I'm using a method where I go to the back of the room and I get dragged into the middle, which helps with my movement. Because if I didn't do that, I wouldn't get dragged as normal spells have a longer range than a trident or a sang or something like that. Yeah, very slow. It's D Halley Demon time, baby. Give me that spec. Oh, unleashed. If I move correctly at the exact times, I don't get hit here. But it's a weird method because D Halley has plus one attack range. So I'm doing this on the second row. Don't you dare splash. Come on. Okay, I need to get these off the ground. I forgot to pick up my stupid hides. Right, let's do it. Oh, no. Um. Uh. No. Oh, no, 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 no. It just always goes wrong. Eat the sweets. Oh, they're the only thing keeping me alive. Come on, I can do this. Hit. Nice. No. Ah, you can't even make this up, bro. There's no way. <laughs> I'm so sad. I can't believe that happened. Purple? No, of course not. Punished. Oh, funny, Jagex. I planked. Get planks. Thanks. Oh, that was so close. I can't end on that, though, can I? I have to go again. I've got the sweets. 1%. Can you imagine? This time I've got bruised, though. Last raid was just, it was just a little practice round. 
This one is the one. Perfect dome. No purple, unfortunately. There we go. Undying raid team. Deathless solo completed. 26k points. Actually a pretty decent chance at getting something, you know. And our loot. Toe Flax of Rune Ore. That's actually like probably nearly a mil with the prices. New tech. The hands reset last time because I just do not have the DPS. D Halley spec. Go. Oh my. I am in my element right now. A hundred? The flow state. Another raid. Another dry. Oh, I thought I thought it went purple then. I thought I'd got something. Essence and gold orb. Can you imagine how much I could sell like a Tebow for right now? That would be incredible. Can I get a Gratz for my 49 wood coating? I've stopped leveling. This one's the one. Everyone in the stands is waiting for this white light. Unlucky. Oh, the Dark Relic. <gasps> Collection log slot completed. Yes, let's go. What do I spend this on? Runecrafting or range? I'll go range. That's how you know I'm not committing to this rank one grind anymore. We've uh, given up on that one. 27k points is actually decent. One hour 17 to do it in is not. And it's because I've got terrible stats. I just need to AFK the stats at longer and the raids will be absolutely fine. Only one raid remains. But I've got no teammates. If I had five solo missions, oh, you know, we could do it so easily. It'll be so easy. First world problems, eh? World first, first world problems. Lando.